go outdoors? Yeah, let's go outdoors. We got stuff to do. Look at all those bulbs. Lots of bulbs. Not talking about them today. There's no time. There's too many to talk about. I don't have time. Come on, outdoors. Just not enough hours in the day. Hey, what's up, garden friends? Jeff here. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm great. Weather's beautiful for December. It's like in the 60s. Have some lows that are going to dip into the upper 20s coming up, but overall just fantastic. I think this is getting shut down next week, though, which is appropriate. Usually have it shut down mid-November, push it mid-December here. It's been fun. It's been nice having it open. You can see the difference between that side of the ginger closest to the water and the other side. One side much warmer than the other. Hey, Turbs. How you doing, baby? So, a little bit of catch-up. I had mentioned in last week's video, had family in town. They just left, and I've been out here trying to get the stuff together to film a video doing stuff, but there are some problems, mainly noise and now dust. Just clouds and clouds of dust. Non-stop. Well, somewhat stop. It stopped right now, so I came outside to talk, but it's a lot of dust. I don't want my nice camera out here with all those particles flying around. Nothing needs to be done in the grow space. I don't like forced content, so I figured we just sit down and talk. I have a ton of bulbs inside that are ready to get potted up and be popping them in different containers and all over the garden, but I think I'm going to have to work on that over the weekend. So that's what happened. I forgot. I don't know how. I guess it's like I went to Georgia in early November. My brain just reset, partially because the construction crew up there took off most of October. So I always forgot that I had been filming a lot of my outdoor vlogs on the weekends when they weren't out there working. It's more quiet and not as much dust. But I just, I forgot. And I had family in town over the weekend, so I wasn't able to film outside for the video for this one for this video you're watching right now i was going to get the hollies planted and do a bunch of stuff with bulbs but here we are looks like sunday's supposed to be nice and dry so i will be sure to do that for next weekend's video and get some stuff done that was a very loud and audible fart really turbo i'm filming and you're just over here ripping kind of rude turbs don't really appreciate it you see all these look at all these beautiful Lots of fun bulbs. Okay, it's black and white, so <laughs> I suppose that makes it not as exciting. But these will all be up on the screen whenever we get to do that bulb video by way I mean me. Hopefully next week, get to do that. Just been watering plants, doing some cleaning, some mulching. This has been such a great fall, very laid back. Haven't had to go nuts under a panic of getting things done all at one time because it's been so mild other than that like three days in October and then maybe a week in November. It's been very pleasant. Oh, hey, baby, you bringing me toys? We can't play. He wants to swim in the pool right now. Haven't done a ton outside that y'all haven't seen, but things are looking good still. I'm loving this setup over here. I know the yuccas, they're not great there, but I'm gonna repot those and get those moved at some point, maybe pop in a couple little ball-shaped evergreens down below, or maybe nothing. There doesn't have to be something in between those containers. I think this is looking nice. Windmill palm still doing its thing. Mule palm looking good. Here's something that I hadn't updated you on. I know, the arb. Yeah, I, believe it or not, there's still some life in there. I've been watering it, taking care of it, and there's still some green inside of it. So I'm leaving it. I'm going to shear it back, and maybe it'll push out some green. These, these are new. No, it's sad. I should have had y'all along with me when I was doing this, but again, dust and just time. For hilly I use, but when each one of these containers, they had hibiscus in them during the summertime and I decided I want more evergreens out here. I'm always talking about that. Just give me more evergreens. Need lots and lots of evergreens for privacy. And so that this time of year through March or even April before all the tropicals are back out here, it'll still feel nice. Pardon the background noise. I'm gonna fill these up with bulbs. I'm gonna get lots and lots of bulbs planted in there. This is gonna be beautiful in the springtime. These aren't really anything impressive, but they're sturdy. They're nice evergreens, hardy all the way to zone four, so they should be good in these containers. Sure, I don't see anything going wrong with them in that case. That was a tight squeeze this direction, but they have lots of room to fill out other directions. I know it's not as fun and tropical for the summertime. I'm not gonna pull them out and put hibiscus or anything crazy tropical in them next year. I'm gonna leave them like this with the green, but the upright use the hilly eyes and the hixie eyes and lots of other use they give me podocarpus vibes they have that same appeal to them the needles are shorter but you get a similar thing from them so i'm okay with it it's something unusual it's an evergreen that's not a pine and that's about it everything in the growth space is business as usual just watering spraying neem watering spraying neem uh, i don't think there's anything else going on out here i might rip out 
this hibiscus. It's a, it's a rose of Sharon that also has a Japanese honeysuckle growing up in the middle, and I try and cut back on that honeysuckle every single year, but it comes back. So I'm thinking I might dig that out. It's going to be tricky. That's been there for a very long time. Really, Turbo? Not, are you doing that right now? While I'm talking to people right in that direction? Okay, he's done with that. <laughs> now he's kicking up some dirt, making a mess. The uh, hibiscus, it's a Rose of Sharon, hibiscus syracuse. They are beautiful plants and I really enjoy them, but they don't flush out with foliage until like late May into June. I'd, that's a long time to not have some sort of privacy in that big spot. So I was thinking, I have another option. Hey baby, you mind if I walk here? Oh, you're just gonna stand right in front of me? Okay, great helper as always, Turbo. The Heptacodium, Temple of Bloom. I've talked about this before. I really enjoy this plant. Don't know if I enjoy it right there though. It's been a great plant, lots of growth on it. It flushes out early in the spring before a lot of the other deciduous plants do and it holds on to its leaves much later in the season compared to all the other deciduous plants. And I was thinking that that might just be a microclimate thing, but I have one in the front yard that's in a very, very exposed spot and it still has a lot of its foliage. So to me, that has me thinking that might be a good spot for that, right? It's already nice and big. The one I just showed you, it's at least I'd say seven, seven and a half feet tall. It'd fit in there perfectly. It's not going to be as wide and provide privacy that direction, but it'll get there someday. And it's not going to get so big that's going to encroach too much onto the neighbor's lawn. It's not a very messy plant. It would be a good spot for an evergreen. I've thought about that. I've thought about maybe just getting a few more of those hollies and plopping one like every probably six to eight feet. So really I'd just be able to get like one, two, three, Really, that's about it, because they get too wide when you go down further, and then you won't be able to walk around on the side of the house. I think that would look weird, and I don't want to make it look too intentional, like I'm trying to block out the neighbors, because they're very nice people. I don't want to do that. But I think that would be a good spot for that Temple of Bloom. Because like I said, I'm not loving it right there. Maybe in a few years when it gets much bigger, I will like it in this location, but I have a spot that could use something where that would fit. The tricky part is, when do I transplant something that's not dropping its leaves? Right, because you need to do that when the ground is, I'd say, between 40 and 60 degrees. Maybe a little bit cooler than 60 would be better for transplanting a deciduous shrub, but it's still holding on to its foliage. Ground temperature right here is averaging around 50 to 51, I think is what I've been seeing. Most of the time I look, it drops down, it changes. That's only measuring the top two inches of soil. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think about that. I it's kind of a win-win. I can leave it there and still love it, right? Because when it gets bigger, I'm going to enjoy having it there. It's just right now it's at an awkward size that is encroaching on the plants that are around it. This has been growing so quickly, though, that I think by the middle of next year, that's not going to be an issue, and I can prune out the foliage from here and down. It'll be nice and open down there. But if I move it, then I have something larger that's already going to give me some privacy over there. It's a proven winner's plant. So that's why I don't think I can just go out and buy one that's this big. Their trees and shrubs aren't normally available in larger sizes. So that's why I think it would make more sense just to dig this one up and move it. Any other suggestions you have for plants that leaf out early and hold on to their leaves for a long time, let me know. There are some evergreen uh, dogwoods that I would love to have back here. They're not very easy to find though. That would be my preference for this spot where that hibiscus syracuses. I don't know if I'll be able to find one though. I don't ever see them for sale anymore. From what I hear, there have been some issues with root rot with the stock that's been around with them. So it might be a few years so I'm able to find something like that to put over there. I think that that would be a great option though. Look at how great that Chinese fan palm's doing mid-December and still kicking. Should I dig it up and take it in? I don't really want to. Like I really, I really don't want to take that plant inside. They're a pain in the butt in the house. Another change of subject. Remember when I painted these cushions with that fabric spray upholstery stuff back in, I don't know, October? And I told everybody I don't like it because it stinks. It's been over a month, still smells, still smells terrible. Not a fan, don't understand that. The containers are doing well. For one of the first times ever, the kales and cabbages are actually growing which don't usually get a lot of that. By the time I get them planted, when things cool off, it stays so cool that they just sort of sit there. But we're actually having like a nice, I'd say six week, something like that period where they've been able to root themselves out and put on some size. It's very nice, it's not, not something I'm used to. Normally with the kales and the cabbages, 
I have issues planting them because it's normally too warm while the nurseries are selling them in September and October. You plant them and they start to bolt. This year I grabbed a ton of them. They were in clearance at Lowe's and it was really, it's like 29 while I was at the store. It was freezing. And generally at that point you get them planted and they just sit still and don't do much because it's so incredibly cold. But we've had this really pleasant, mild fall so far. So getting some size out of them. Wasn't expecting that. I don't think they'll put on much more. They probably only have another week and a half to two or three weeks, I would imagine, at most, until things get dreadfully cold here. So I don't know what else to expect from them, but it's been nice getting to see them unfurl and just look good again. It's, is it bugging anybody else who haven't planted these yet? I know, me too. Just haven't had time. And when I have had time, there's just been too much going on up there. I did take them out of the plastic. Well, I untied the plastic and opened it up and popped a couple little holes on each side of there. We just haven't had a lot of rain. Things have been really dry. The air is really dry. So I figured that it was probably better to leave them. That's how I justified not having time to actually pull the plastic off all the way. Like I said, I've had family in town. They just left. Things have been busy. Had a great time. Been very nice. Got a ton of Christmas shopping done. Unbelievable amount of Christmas shopping done. So I'm way ahead of the game as far as all that's concerned. Anyways, that's where we are right now. This is probably the last video, maybe next weekend's video, where the pool will be open. So even though I don't really have anything this weekend except for me just rambling, total train of consciousness going on here. Well, hope you enjoyed the exposure to the ADD. Thought it would be nice to just be out here with the pool and the fresh air and have a last look, potentially. There might still be a couple more videos. Depends on how much filming I can get done this weekend. Because, you know, it's a whole different thing out here once that pool's covered up and there's not that nice sound of the water. It's just a big tarp. It doesn't look as nice. And the, no the noise. It, there's, it's so noisy up there. I know people like longer videos and haven't been able to deliver on that for a while. I don't really know what else. Do you want a Christmas present haul? Want to see what I picked up from TJ's? I think can make that happen. It's easy enough to do. Joey just finished off that whole bowl of food, Stinky. Right there, that's pumpkin's food. That's why you're so stinky, you keep eating the grown-up food. I'm not sure what I've gotten myself into saving me into a TJ Maxx haul. Here's the, there's so much. I feel like it's going to take a really long time to actually get through all of that. But hey, you can try. I'm not gonna pop the boxes open, which I know is traditional when someone does a haul to like open things up and examine them, but these are gifts for people. So I don't, I'm not gonna do that. Oh, also, if you know me in real life, and you're somebody who would get a gift from me, stop watching the video. Be a jackass and ruin the surprise. Turn it off. Go do something else. You've been warned. Don't ruin it. I also have some explaining to do here. I, I, I've i never been to a TJ Maxx before. This is my first time. Uh, I'm sure that I've been when I was a kid with my mom, probably, but as an adult, just never appealed to me. Never saw a reason to go there. But my sister was here. She needed to go there. And then this is, well, this is what happened. This bag right here, this alone, that's just dog toys. Dog toys, so there's some good stuff in there. Like I said, the bulk of everything are gifts. I only got a couple of things for myself. This is one of them, look at it. I got this for myself. The Poppy, Poppy, getting Poppy Smart Garden. It's only 40 bucks. Pretty good deal, I don't know what it does. Artificial Sunlight LED Smart Planter. We'll obviously be digging into this some more in the future in a video, so I'm not going to take it apart and read much about it. Thought it seemed like a good deal, hopefully, it was There's things from other stores in here as well. Everything's mixed up in a disaster right now. 3D cat puzzle. Person I got this for is going to enjoy it. Eight dollars. One thing I got where I was like, that actually seems kind of pricey compared to the other things that are in here. That's okay. It'll do. These are <laughs> well, ones for me and ones for someone else. Warp pipe planter. You can see it. It's a planter or a pencil holder. Obviously, I'm going to be sticking a cactus in that thing. Another one down there right below it. This is a color changing Game Boy mug. So when it's cold, blank screen. When it's hot, light up screen. Handheld fan, my mother's menopausal. Always piping hot, she's gonna like that. So that is for her laser tag, $18. So quality on this, probably not great, but it's just for jits and shigs. Little bit of fun, hopefully it will go a long way. Put that over there for now. I wonder if I should be pulling these things out in a particular order so I can like stack them up and make them look nice. Probably not going to do that. Need to get these wrapped anyway, so it made sense to get them out of the package right now instead of waiting for later. She's so cute. Such a distraction. You're such a cute kitten. Yoshi Light. 
It looks like an egg. It's just a night light that looks like Yoshi egg. This is, well, this is for me and the cats. It's a slow feeder for the cats where they put their the food down there and they scoop it out and you can put food in the rim too. They have all kinds of other products, different water bowls. And neat looking things. I've wanted one of these for a while because the kitten, this clip just started off with, she eats too much very, very quickly. I think it's one of the reasons she's so stinky. But maybe that will help slow her down and add some enrichment to it. This is the controllers you hook to your phone for people who like to game on their phone. So that, <laughs> just trying to flip that around. Let's just try that again. Here we go. Don't know how well it works, but I've seen lots of versions of basically the same thing online and people seem to like them. Not terribly expensive, cheaper than the ones I was looking at online for the person I was getting that for. Thought that seemed like a good deal. Oh, puzzles. My dad, he loves these things, these little fidget puzzles. I usually get him a different pack of those every single year. Am I supposed to be giving the prices on everything? I feel like a ship is past. Not sure what precedent I had said or not, if you want to see the prices or not. That's, oh, this is Hallmark, so that's not TJ Maxx. Did a lot of shopping that day. Oh, rain cloud fountain diffuser lamp. These are neat. You ever seen these before? The person I got this for is going to absolutely love this. I really don't want to give it to him though. I want to keep it. it. Does look like a mushroom though. I prefer it looked more like a cloud. I know who I got this for is absolutely going to love it. It was one of the more expensive things. You can get these for about that same price online, but I was at the store, so I figured, okay, it's here. Just go ahead and get it. A keypad for the dogs. They have the suction cups on the back. You ever use these? Dog people, you ever use these? Stick it to the wall, smear some peanut butter on it, and the dog stands there and licks it. It'll stick better than if you actually try, I promise. Actually, push it down against the wall. I like these in the shower. So you put it on the shower wall, put some peanut butter on there. My older dog, Toby, who likes to sit when he's in the shower, this keeps him standing up because he licks on that peanut butter and it's a lot easier to give him a bath and brush him up, groom him that way. Very nifty. King size heating pad because while well, my mother is menopausal and uh, always hot, therefore the house is very cold, therefore my father is always cold. So king size heating pad. That should keep him warm. And then this is one of my favorite things. Look at this, look at it. Isn't that stinking adorable? It's a stitch light. Look at me, he's holding a light bulb. So stinking cute. There's no reason for me to have it or anywhere for me to put it, but it's just so freaking cute. That will be better for my niece. She will enjoy that a lot. Also got this. <laughs> Not even phase. It's a dog toy. It says jiggle me. And it's a mushroom and you, you got it. I'm not going to do it on camera, but the dog flicks around his mouth and it starts to make fun noise. And Mario Brothers desktop Christmas tree. Isn't that cool? Tiny and little. I like right here where it says lots of room for ornaments. Really? You think so? I'm going to say probably not. Not going to be a lot of room on there for ornaments. Sure, a few ornaments. A lot? Nah, I think that's pushing it. Did you, you want to go through the dog toys? There are a lot of dog toys in here. I'm trying to think. Is this... I was watching my audio on the screen. The bag is pretty noisy. I'm just going to dump everything out. Cut back on the sound from the plastic. Look at this. Got a basket. We believe in Santa Pots. That's so stupid. Really dumb. And my little sister is going to love that. I have a couple of footballs here for Turbo. Turbo loves his footballs. So he's got a couple more of those. This guy right here, a couple handles on it. Good tug of war toy. I don't play tug of war with the dogs. Can teach them bad manners. It really, it just depends on what kind of dog you have. I prefer to not, partially also because Turbo's 110 pounds and I have a delicate shoulder. So it's not a good idea. 10 bucks though. Isn't that a great deal? It's a nice toy. They aren't, by they, I mean, my dogs aren't ones to destroy toys all that often. If you have a dog that destroys things, I, you probably, I don't think you'd want anything here. And that being said, half these toys are for a pair of Rhodesians that are going to absolutely just destroy these. And they're probably gonna have a great time doing it. Gingerbread people, one of them has a bite taken out of them. Thought that was funny. This is, oh, love this. Love the life is good stuff and love my Cardinals. You know, St. Louis, Get the, all the, Cardinals stuff around. Baseball town. That was a great toy. These are, what are these? Puppuccinos. Fuzzy Yard bar Barcarista. It's just the dog stuff is kind, so. I'll, I'll say funny. I was going to say cringy. Funny. How about that? It's just funny. Cheap little ice cream cone. It's $3.99. Figured something else is squeaker the dogs will play with. It's the holidays. You got to have your cocktails. Some Pup Light. <laughs> Seltzer Bark Soda. Some Sparkling Santa and some Gingerbread. And then uh, this is, it's, I mean... I honestly, I wanted this more for me, but I'm going to make sure that it goes to one of the dogs, either mine or my sister's. Oh, and I grabbed this guy. 
it's technically a dog toy, but it's been sitting on my desk for the last few days and I'm getting kind of attached. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to give it to the dogs. Okay, what we're not going to, I don't want you to think it's okay to play in plastic bags. It's very dangerous. <sighs> okay, what else? We're zooming through this. This isn't taking anywhere near as long as I thought. If this were like a TJ Maxx haul, like go look at all the fun stuff at TJ Maxx, I'd be popping the things open. It would take a lot longer, but this is just a vlog. It's just a vlog, so that's not what's happening here. Bird book from Barnes and Noble. I don't think you guys care about this stuff from Barnes and Noble, right? I don't know. These are for like friends who have kids and toddlers and those things. It's just little, you know, kid stuff. Oh, and I got myself a book that I've actually read, but I my copy disappeared. I think I may have given it away to someone. I wanted a new one. Surrounded by Idiots. Great book. Highly suggest reading that. It's a popular book in the psychology circles. A lot of people enjoy that one because it has some good insights and some tools for dealing with people who are difficult to deal with. This is neat. It's just, it's a magnetic hoverboard. I have a friend who's really into Back to the Future and I think it levitates, maybe, I'm not sure. $12.99 seemed kind of pricey. This is one of those things at the checkout line at Barnes and Noble, and I feel like I could probably find this cheaper somewhere else, but I was there and I was Christmas shopping, so I said, okay, I'll get it. It's something else to scratch off the list, and it's a thoughtful gift. The person I got it for is really gonna like, it's not just about scratching stuff off the list, you know? Try to buy things that I think people will like and not just buy people things for the sake of buying them things. That defeats the purpose. Ornaments, I don't, do y'all wanna see ornaments? What do we have here? Oh, mice in a cup. I have a family member who's really into Christmas mice. I don't know what that's about. That's their thing. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but they enjoy it. Sega Dreamcast. That's for my little sister. She loves the Dreamcast. I have all the other ones. I have the Nintendo. There's a Super Nintendo, and I have a little Sega one over there somewhere. Thought she would appreciate that because she enjoyed her Dreamcast. Wouldn't know. I never got to play with it because she would never share it with me. And that's for my older sister. My buddy, he's been in the vlogs, lived here for a year at one point. They always put these bubbles in their fence. It's like you cut a hole in your fence and it's a, a bubble that the dogs can look out and enjoy watching the world. I thought it was pretty cool that they had an ornament that actually is a bubble cut into a fence. That's perfect for them. Hey, and then there are other ornaments. <laughs> Make myself a path. <laughs> Get through here and go show them to you. This guy, he's new this year. And I think one of my favorite ornaments, T-Rex covered in Christmas lights. <laughs> There's a, a little stitch, little tykes playing. 90s babies, y'all remember those things? And the cooties toy. Used to love those things when I was little. I wasn't really allowed to play with them. I think I was too little and I would chew on them. But I thought they were fun. Oh, and one more ornament. 2023, sweetest dreams come true. Big exciting year. This is what I was talking about with the animals in the plastic bags. This is why I don't do plastic bags. Get out, out, out. And the environment and all that stuff too. I know, they're bad for the environment. Every grocery store around here has a recycling center for plastic bags. I don't freak out about them. I use reusables, but plastic happens sometimes. Ruined the moment, kitten. Or maybe perfected it, I don't know. There it is. Got the Christmas shopping done. Few fun things for myself, lots of fun things for the dogs. There's a chance I'm gonna keep either the Yoshi egg or the tree, cause they're, they're pretty dang cool. And those are the only two things that I bought where I didn't actually have a person in mind to give them to, but there are a lot of people who I can think of that would enjoy them. It's the holidays, so it's about the spirit of giving and gotta keep in mind what's most important. Always gonna have top priorities. So there are, like I said, lots of people that I think would enjoy this. And most importantly, the, me. Oh, kidding. Although I actually, I probably am going to keep one of those. It's going to pop them open and see what they look like. Probably not great. I'm looking forward to seeing how this thing performs. Get rolling on that. Pre Should I have done that for this week's video? No, can't. Things take a long time. Plants don't grow overnight. It's a gardening channel. You know that. I actually, when I saw that it was only 40 bucks, I didn't really pay attention to anything else about it. I just took it. I was like, yep, I'll take that. Threw it in the cart. Because they only had one of them. I only had one and I knew that I wanted it. So I got it. What does it say? Hydroponic indoor garden, eight plant pods with sponges, eight seedling covers, five Beckett covers. Wonder what that's actually supposed to say. Water pump, USB cable, instruction manuals, grows in water, no soil, no mesh, just gardening made simple, plants and seeds not included, plant nutrients not included, okay. Automatic timer, water capacity three and a half liters, and pretty small. Looks like the light on it's adjustable, so that's pretty good too. Up to 12, 12 inches, it's so big. They would grow lots of giant things and there was that 12 inch adjustable light. That, that's fine, it's $40. Gonna need to grab some seeds for that one and get it set up. And I have a lot of wrapping to do, including wrapping this up. Do you, do you like to see what I did there? Was that good? Oh, speaking of which, also got a ton of wrapping paper. TJ Maxx, 
I can't say they have my favorite wrapping paper because I haven't really been there before. But Home Goods and Marshalls have always had my favorite wrapping paper, and they hadn't had the paper I like for several years. Years ago, I bought this beautiful red foil, not foil, but it's a really thick paper that's embossed from them, and then they stopped selling it. And they had it this year at TJ, so I bought as many rolls as I could, including this fun penguin paper that's textured and rippled. A shortage of paper. Which is good, because like I said, got a lot of wrapping to do. Hope everybody's doing well. Comment down below. Say hi. Holidays starting to ramp up for everybody. Things are definitely getting very busy around here. Sorry about the lack of, I want to say lack of content. Plenty of stuff happened. There's been a lot of talking. A lot of stuff going on, just not anything productive. This is productive for me. I needed to get this stuff out and get it sorted so I can remember what's going to who and check things off on my list so that selfishly this worked out really well for me we'll get to digging and planting this weekend assuming that they don't work over the weekend sometimes they do this new crew that's up there they're they're almost every single day even on the weekend so i don't know gonna try and make it work hey pumpkin did you come in to say hi what are you, what are you doing bite so nice to see you pumpkin she loves that hole in the door it's flying in and out of that thing 50 times a day she just oh no she just needed to go to the bathroom is there a kitten in my desk oh there is there's a kitten in my desk hey stinky how you doing no i'm gonna close this I'm, I'm trying to wrap things up i gotta go don't worry there's a hole on the other side see she just got out of there she kitten go right through there that was unnecessary pumpkin she didn't do anything to you. What's happening? How's it gonna play out? What's gonna happen? Send you gotta go. She's gotta go. Yeah, hopefully we'll be planting stuff up in the next video. Like I said, hope everybody's doing well, having a great day, a great life, and everything just going absolutely beautifully for you. <laughs> Is this a terrifying thing to zoom in on? I don't know if it's going to show on camera, probably. Oh, kinda. You sort of see it's one of those 3D things that makes the fun sound. Some people love it, some people hate it. It's a very divisive sound. Are you ready? Because I don't hate you, I will have adjusted the volume down on that. As always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye bye. Okay, I video just ended. Right after it ended, I had to open up this box and have a look inside and thought you might want to see this tree that has lots of room for ornaments. <laughs> what? The TJs, they really think we're stupid, don't they? Lots of room for ornaments. How? In what world? No. I suppose may as well plug it in since we're here and see what it looks like. Lots of room for ornaments, huh? Also, doesn't the box say 10 inches? I could have sworn somewhere on here it said t uh, 10 inch height. No. I mean, maybe. I don't have a measuring tape on me. I would say that that's being generous. I have some paper here. Okay, yeah, maybe. That could be 10 inches, I suppose. It's the tree itself. Very small, not a lot going on there, but yeah, when you factor in the tip, um, the star, and the base, sure, 10 inches, yeah, maybe, but um, definitely not a lot of room for ornaments. Not the point though, it's just a fun little decoration. i make a great gift, now that I've seen it, taken out of the box, I don't need to keep it, it's too small. Somebody else is really going to enjoy it for me, I don't know, just sometimes size matters, especially with Christmas trees. Mm -hmm.